Foster. Come on, put your hands together. And she's going to share with her good fun, her experience with you. Thank you. Thank you. So as you begin to sing a song, I'm not a songstress, but the, the Lord says you should uh, make a joyful noise. So I'm going to go ahead and make a joyful noise. And the song said, walk with me, yes. Lord. Yes. Walk with me. Yes. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Mm. I had to ask God to walk with me through this journey. And yes. Grief is universal, true enough, but we all experience it differently. Yes. My experience with grief has been challenging for three reasons. I call them my three leading ladies. Mm. My grandmothers, two of them, my maternal and paternal grandmothers, and my daughter, Alicia. Mm. My three leading ladies, I wrote about my daughter, Alicia, and I'm going to read uh, from my chapter, in chapter five of the book, on page 45. And I got to my friends and family over here. Are you talking about two people? No, that's right. My health care. Are they back there? They're in my pocket. Our <laughs> 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 help was on here. You know, as you begin to get older, God reminds you that some things have to change. And my, my eyes have changed over the years. Praise God. In the chapter I wrote, she was gone. And there was nothing left to do but deliver. We had planned for a natural birth. So I admittedly, uh, adamantly, excuse me, refused an epidural and any form of medication. I'm overwhelmed by grief. Her father could not bear the pain and left the room. Let's not judge him. Men grieve yes. in their own ways. Yeah. Yes, they do. My mother, God bless her, however, on what was supposed to be a joyful birthday, yes, it was her birthday, stayed by my side, persuading me to make to take something to help me calm my shattered nerves. My mother, in her moment of grief, changed her focus, pay attention, she changed her focus and helped coach me through the delivery of my lifeless daughter, Alicia Michelle. That was a moment in my life that I never thought I would experience. And I have the honor and the pleasure to have one of my best friends here with me, Priscilla. She was there and she shifted her focus. She was grieving too, just as my mother was grieving. Just as many of you have grieved, you know, you had to shift your focus and begin to focus on the life around you that was still continuing, right? Mm -hmm. We don't give ourselves time to really walk in that grief and be healed in that grief. And I remember my mom telling me, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things in Christ that who strengthens me. And I said to my mom, how can I look to God in this moment. Mm -hmm. She said, because God is the creator of all things, both good and bad. And in your time of trouble, this is when you need to find his healing and bad. Lean on him. Lean not to your own understanding, but lean on him. So as I began to wrestle with that um, experience in my life, the way I came into this project, this beautiful, wonderful, Beautiful woman. She is a woman of God before she is a publisher. I'm just going to let y'all know. Say that. <laughs> so um, she reached out to me about this project. She had already interviewed these beautiful ladies. And I had given a testimony about the loss of my daughter. I had not talked about her loss in over 25 years. I walked and carried that grief for 25 years. I blamed myself for 25 years because I thought it was my fault. No, God said it was just her time. Mm -hmm. And I had to come into that realization. And when I, I posted about that experience on her birthday, which was June 8th, the same as my mother's, my beautiful friend, this beautiful woman of God, this publisher reached out to me and she asked me, would I be interested? And I had to call. And she said one thing that I knew this was God led. Well, she said, well, pray about it first. Mm -hmm. And I did. And God gave me the instructions to say yes. And I'm so grateful for that moment because it allowed me to come full circle. Because not every day was a good day writing this book. Mm. Not every day was an amazing day that, oh my gosh, I did it. You know, we say we celebrate. 
I was kind of torn a little bit. It's like, how are you celebrating grief? And I'm going to tell you how it just moved. I was torn and trying to understand how I needed to move forward and, and tell this story. And God had to give it to me in a different way. Stop out. He said I had to bring you through it. So you had a personal experience to help somebody else through. So, you know, I can reach back and bring someone that has experienced this type of thing along the way. Even if it's just to sit with them, thank you, Priscilla, for sitting with them. Even if it's just to show up to an event, thank you for showing up for me. Right. Even if it's just a call when you have, you know when the birthday is, the anniversary of this experience. You good, for me? Sometimes that's all it takes, but God had to take me through that. Right. So I know how to show up for someone that has also lost a child or lost something that was valuable to them. That's what grief is. It's not just a loss of a human being or a loss of a life. It could be a loss of a marriage. It could be a loss of a job, a home, your mind, Come on, your personality, your identity. Grief is very much universal, but it's not, you know, we don't want to share in just a universal feeling of sadness. We want to share in a universal feeling of joy on the other side Right. As God ordered my steps this morning, I had to thank him for allowing me to keep waking up. There were days I didn't want to wake up. I wanted this grief to end. So that meant if the grief ended, then I would end. Those were my true thoughts. But I thank God. God kept saying, no, get up, Trisha. Time to go to work. Time to feed the family. Time to do this. Wow. He kept waking me up. And so I kept taking another step into each day. I took another step the next day. And before I know it, I'm standing before you guys. So God ordered my steps to this moment, and I'm appreciative of it. Thank you, Portia, for the opportunity. Ladies, I have read this book. I have cried with you. I didn't sit down with you when you wrote this book, but I cried with you as I read the stories, and I love you, and I appreciate y'all for being so brave and sharing the stories, but I appreciate you the most for still waking up and stepping into your day and showing up for yourself looking at what is still here with you, what you still can reach for. Like he said, God gives us vision. He gave y'all a vision. That's why y'all are there. Thank you guys for showing up for us and supporting us. If it wasn't for you and your quiet standing next to us, because I'm sure y'all showed up because one of these authors encouraged you to, right? You know, they didn't have to beg you to come out here on a Saturday morning. You showed up because you knew how important it was for them. So thank y'all for showing up for us. Wow. Thank you. And thank you, Matthew. Thank you, everybody. Amen. Thank you.